Hello right, everyone, Christian here. Shopify just released three new free OS 2.0 themes, and I'm gonna give you my first impressions and how you can use them. Let's get started. Shout out to Shopify for giving us a heads up that they released these new themes. Uh, the three new themes we're about to talk about is Sense, Crave, and Craft. All of these themes have been optimized for OS 2.0, which means they're gonna be packed full with great features. And I will say this, this is the first time I've seen these themes only have one style. So uh, what you see is pretty much what you get, you know, type deal. So let's get started with the first theme. All right, so I'm gonna jump in here to the Shopify themes uh, store basically, or kind of like browsing all the themes. Uh, I just click on the all themes right here. And if you sort by most recent, you will see the most recent ones. So Scent, Crave, and Craft right here. So these are the ones that we're gonna be talking about today. So we're gonna start with Scent. So Sense is great for, and this is some of the highlights that they give you, it's great for health and beauty and then for smaller catalogs. And again, I think all of them have the quick set of past slash visual storytelling. Um, so that doesn't really make it unique to, to this one in particular. Um, but yeah, I would say that for the most part, whenever they say it's great for health and beauty or smaller catalog, catalogs, um, don't necessarily, you know, not use this theme. Um, I would always suggest to try the theme first, see what you can do with it, um, and see how it fits your brand and your products. <clears throat> so even though it says health and beauty, you can probably use this for clothing or other products um, or other types of stores. So right off the bat, some of the things that I really like about this and what makes it very unique is the gradients that it's using. Um, you can kind of see it right now with just within these, these pictures. Uh, this block right here has a gradient, has like a little pink and then some green on the outside. Um, and even the, the showcase images that they have here, they're also using uh, those gradients in the background right there. So this is just basically the standard page, which kind of gives you the whole breakdown of all the uh, features that this particular theme has. But what I like to do is I always like to jump in and just see the demo store. So <clears throat> with the demo store, um, it will give, just give you a better sense, no pun intended there, um, on how the actual theme works and looks whenever you're scrolling through it. Um, so something really cool about the actual gradient that I talked about is that the sort of that pink blush uh, part of the gradient, it follows you around when you scroll. So you see like right now it's at the towards the bottom and this looks more green, but when I scroll up, that sort of follows you there. Now, if we keep scrolling to this other section right here, this uh, testimonial is the same thing. You get the same effect of that sort of that part of the gradient following you around. That's something very, very unique so for this store that I've never seen done before. So that's really, really, really cool. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was this flower just kind of floating here. Um, again, just very unique. And I never really thought about doing something like this. Um, but now that I think about it, I think that's just like a, yeah, just a, a cutout of a PNG of a flower. Um, and it has the, the that shadow on there. So it just kind of looks like it's just being placed right there on the footer. Uh, that's just like cool little effect, but I think you can do that with some of the other themes. But yeah, shout out to whoever did that. That's actually a pretty cool effect right there. Now, something that I noticed about this theme and the craft and crave themes is they sort of look very similar to the dawn theme. So it makes me wonder if they sort of took that dawn theme and used it as a sort of base layer and built these other additional themes on top of it. And what they did really, and I kind of mentioned this at the beginning of the video, which was the, they only have one styling. So it makes me think like they just took took Dawn and used it for very specific, you know, uh, industry. So health and beauty. Um, and then we're just gonna see some of the other ones are, are getting very specific for those industries. But overall, again, very clean layout um, as always. Um, I love the hover and you see video. That's also something on some newer themes that you'll see. Um, so yeah, whenever you hover some over some of them, you'll see a little video automatically playing. I think you can see it on this one right here, this product grid. And this actually, this section right here um, is what made me think that they use sort of the Dawn theme as a, as a base layer because uh, this section right here is unique for the Dawn theme and they're using it for, I think, all three of these uh, themes right here. Regardless, I think this looks very unique, you know, for this particular industry or like I said, for any other industry, if you're looking for something like this where it's just very clean. They use a gradient. Uh, they use of uh, sort of that 
video look whenever you hover over different products um, or even auto playing right here within the product collection page. Really, really cool. And then lastly, let's look at the product page. Okay, so for the product page, they have a photo grid. Um, again, if you don't have a lot of images for this particular product, then this makes sense. Now, if you have, I don't know, eight to 10 product pages, then this photo grid right here on the left-hand side might not, might not make sense. Um, I don't know right now if they have the ability for you to change that. Um, but imagine, you know, 10 different, you know, pictures in here, you'll be scrolling for a little bit. Um, so yeah, just take that into consideration. And I think that's why they also say uh, better for smaller uh, catalog products. Um, but yeah, I think overall, really, really good, really well done theme. Now, before we move on to our second theme, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Big Branding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Now let's move on to the second one, which is Crave. Crave, if I can open it right here, nice. It's a food and drink uh, theme. Uh, and then this one is for any catalog size. And then again, like I said, the quick setup visual storytelling <clears throat> is included in there. Now this one does feel different than anything that's out there right now within the theme store. And it's just because of the, the use of color. So they do a really good job on using background colors, using accent colors. Um, and as you can see here, it just looks very, very colorful. And that's one of the reasons why they sort of suggest the, it's more for the food and drink, right, side of things. So um, again, overall, I, I think it looks very, very different. And you'll see some of the sections here that, let me open the, the actual, yeah. Uh, you'll see some of the sections like uh, this uh, hero section with this, uh, heading and subheading and button right here. It looks very different. Again, look at, you have the ability to do the corners and then sort of that sh that box shadow, um, but it's just a color sort of extended right there. Um, and you'll sort of carry that throughout the whole site, right? That, that those rounded corners um, with that additional sort of shadow underneath it. Um, again, very, very colorful. As you can see, this is again, the same grid section that we saw in Dawn, that we saw in the sense theme, uh, where it just allows you to link different things right here. Um, this is actually really, really cool <clears throat> that I haven't seen done anywhere else. But to my surprise, you can actually do this on probably any theme. Uh, it's the ability to just upload GIFs, right? And for them to automatically play right within here. So um, if get, using GIFs is part of your brand, um, or if you want to showcase something, um, with a particular product or maybe for the about section. Uh, this would be a great visual to use on the homepage is because it's, it's nice, it's easy, it's simple. You can use it for that storytelling aspect um, of things. We continue here, we have, yeah, just kind of like your, your typical sections, but uh, I like that it just has a lot of color. Um, it has the rounded corner, so it just looks completely different, like I said, than anything else that I've seen out there. Now, this theme in particular, uh, I know I've mentioned before, like you can use them, you can use them for other industries, but you don't have to necessarily stick around with the food and drink industry. Um, for this one, we are going to break it down a little bit further in a follow-up video that we'll do. And we're actually gonna build a clothing store using this theme um, because it just caught my attention. It, it caught my, uh, my eye with all the colors. So I was thinking like, uh, maybe for a t-shirt company, right? That just does really cool designs, um, very colorful sort of brand. Uh, I think this would be very beneficial to use something like the Crave theme. Now, if we get into the Crave collection, um, you'll see it, I mean, pretty straightforward. Um, it has the collection name. It has a uh, description of that collection. Filtering, it's available. I believe filtering is available on all these new themes because OS 2.0 just makes it very easy uh, to have that built-in filter functionality, which is awesome. Uh, let's see if we hover some of these. Okay, yeah, they don't have videos playing. They just kind of zooms in the image a little bit. Um, it has a recipe section right here within the collection. That's actually pretty cool. Um, and then just, yeah, the ability to have these extra sections right here within the collection page, page again, is part of the OS 2.0 uh, feature capability. Um, okay, so this one has a, a different style for the images on the actual product page. So this is more of the slideshow uh, that you typically see on uh, different 
themes out there. Um, and then again, this section right here, the collapsible um, information, if you will, um, is very beneficial for uh, yeah, doing something like this, like ingredients or nutritional information or providing the shipping information right here within the product page, which we always recommend um, that you guys do include all this information. The more information that you can include about the particular product, uh, the better informed the customer is going to be in making that decision. Um, when it comes to these at the car by now, we always recommend just having that one call to action in here. Um, so we probably recommend just having that, that at the card in there, but that's something that we can probably change in the back end. And then again, the ability to have these sections right here um, is because of OS 2.0. So just having these always present, um, it's good. It's awesome. Uh, I like it. Uh, I would probably suggest having maybe additional products right here within the, the product page, but that's something that you can change um, in the back end. So overall, really cool store. Um, and like I said, be on the lookout for that next video coming out next week. Hey, if you like what you see, consider clicking on that like button. Is that still relevant? Uh, I think it is. Just like. So if you're looking for a new theme or maybe you have a new store, you know that data is super important. Now more than ever, you need to be able to see your blind spots in your business and your opportunities. So we found software called Triple Whale. You can see the link in the, below in the description that will literally put all the data points that you need to know about your business into one place so that every single day you can uh, look at grows, net profit opportunities and continue to grow properly. So check that out in the description. Now, the last theme that we have here is called craft. Craft is a refined theme and celebrates craftsmanship. It looks very sort of elegant, right? Um, they say it's great for home and garden and for any catalog size. Um, very sort of neutral pastel type colors um, is what they kind of give you up front. But let's open up the actual demo store. And something that caught my attention here is like they're not using a, a hero section, right? Typically you see that big hero section with a specific call to action. Um, so that's kind of interesting that they didn't have that um, right off the gate, but they do have a headline and then they do have a few um, sort of categories or collections that you can go to glassware, textiles, uh, dinnerware, etc. cetera. Um, looks like we have a video within the homepage. And then again, look at this. This is the same section that we've seen on the other two and Dawn, um, which is just the, um, I forget what they call it. I think it's the multi-column um, collection or something like that, where yeah, you have the ability to just have three different things show up here. Um, you can either link all of them or link one. So in, in this particular example, they're just linking one and just providing extra imagery um, top and bottom, right? Um, okay, I like that. I like the iconography here. That looks very clean. And then it looks like the blog. And yeah, so this is very clean, very uh, simple. Um, but again, it just kind of gives you that, that sense of elegance, uh, especially with the font that they're using, the colors um, and all that. Again, they say it's good for home and garden. But to be honest, I can see literally any and every store uh, being built with crap. Um, and again, just think about these themes as sort of your starting point. And that's why I always recommend that you add the theme, put it in your in your store, and then play around with it and see what the capabilities are. If you're changing the font, changing the colors, um, this thing will look completely different <laughs> um, than what we're seeing right here. Let's go into some of these collections. Um, very similar to the other two that we've seen. Uh, sort of very standard. You have the filtering system in here, then you have your product page. Um, let me click on these. Now this one has also just like Sense, it has more of that grid style. Um, I like how they break it down into smaller and bigger images. I think that looks very clean, very professional. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, now this is something that I would definitely recommend and they're doing it right here. So because you have a lot of images on the left hand side there, you scrolling, you always see the call to action and the product description right there with you. So that's actually best practice for me. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, you also see the classable menus right here. Again, that's part of OS 2.0. So very similar in the way that they are displayed or sort of the, the structure right within the, the three themes. Um, so as far as features, uh, there's going to be little things really in the back end um, between all three of these um, because as you can see they do have some some of the same things um, that sort of get repeated throughout um, these three new themes. 
All right, there you have it, the three new OS 2.0 themes. If you just finished watching this video and this breakdown, then you definitely want to watch this video next. See you over there.